As part of the staff review and direction with respect to the resort residential height uh, proposed amendment, uh, staff reviewed and considered a number of development applications re received through both the Committee of Adjustment process as well as other municipalities with similar zones. In those municipalities, there is a range uh, between one story, which is equivalent to 4.3 meters, to 11 meters. Over the last number of years, since the Norfolk County Zoning Bylaw has been in place, a number of applications have been received by both the Committee of Adjustment to, to consider and allow construction from the permitted 7.5 meters to an average of approximately 8.9 meters. It is noted that the traditional nature of housing in the resort residential area has changed over time, including over the last 10 years since the Lakeshore Secondary Plan and official plan policies were implemented. Uh, from what we are seeing from a planning perspective, people are seeking to have additional space and amenities and many more of the comforts at home when on vacation. An increase to the 9.1 uh, meters, which is uh, 30 feet, comfortably allows for construction of a two-story dwelling. A public open house was held in July of this year, and notice of the proposed amendments uh, have been posted in the papers, as well as provided directly to Turkey, the Turkey Point uh, Property Owners Association, as well as the Long Point Ratepayers Association, as well as a number of land owners directly. I've had numerous conversations with residents who have voiced both support to the increase as well as an opposition to the proposed amendment. Uh, copies of emails uh, received have been provided to Council uh, this afternoon and are grouped together. There's two uh, sections in front of you. You will find one group stapled together that are in support of the proposed amendment and uh, another uh, section that is in opposition to the proposed amendments. <clears throat> In terms of um, the review and uh, the overall uh, evaluation of the uh, increase from the 7.5 meters to 9.1 uh, meters, staff uh, respect the maintenance of the resort residential area and the character that exists. However, do note that that general character has changed over time and two-story structures are not considered to be out of character or to have a negative impact on the function of the area. The 9.1 meters is considered to be appropriate value for our resort oh. residential areas. Based on the foregoing, planning staff are recommending support of the proposed amendments uh, with an increase to the maximum permitted height from in the zoning bylaw from 7.5 meters to 9.1 meters, as well within the Norfolk County official plan to remove the uh, notation of the height requirement from the policy framework and to leave the policy text to remain and, and speak to maintaining the general height or excuse me the general general character of the area based on the foregoing and uh, the conversations and evaluation by staff uh, as indicated we are planning staff is recommending support of the application or support of the amendment and I'm happy to answer questions that you may have today thank you Shannon, and I would uh, first ask if there's any questions from Council. Councillor Oliver. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, and I apologize to staff for having my back to them, but uh, I'm looking at page 159, which is page one of the report, and Shannon, I must confess, I guess my, and I've done it before here, my poor memory, I didn't realize that in the former township of Norfolk, we distinguished between seasonal residential vacation home heights everywhere in the township and just in Long Point. So it was only in the Long Point zone that it was 7.5 and other seasonal residential vacation homes in the former township were 11. Is that correct? Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor, that is correct. For the oh. former uh, Long Point area, it was 7.3 meters, for and uh, for the yeah. other resort residential designated yeah. zones, okay. it was the uh, 11 meters. Right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, yeah, I noticed that too, that long points seem to be uh, the bottom of the, of the, or the shortest height. So, Shannon, obviously, if this is approved, the entire resort residential area across all of Norfolk County will then be 11 meters, correct? Uh, sorry, 9.1. Through you, Pardon Mr. Mayor. Me. Yes, that is, that is correct. So currently, all of the resort residential areas within Norfolk County is at 7.5 meters. Yes. Uh, so that 7.5 meters was implemented uh, a number of years ago, first through the Lakeshore Secondary Plan, um, with that direction to have the 7.5 meters. And then when the zoning bylaw, uh, consolidated zoning bylaw, came through for Norfolk County, uh, that 7.5 meters was carried forward into that document. So what this amendment would do <coughs> is kind of find a, uh, a merge or a negotiation or a compromise between the existing um, and uh, seven point or the previous 7.3 meters for Long Point, the existing 7.5 meters in our zoning bylaw, and some of the historic values of 11 meters for the other areas. Yeah, and I have a couple more questions, but certainly, Councillor Oliver, I'll go to you. I, I can go last. Just on that Councilor very Height. point, Mr. Merritt, and I'm sure all of Council remembers, but I guess for those that are maybe in the chamber or watching, I want to slightly correct Shannon in that it, in our 2014 comprehensive zoning bylaw, the new countywide zoning bylaw, council approved a height of nine meters in the zoning bylaw. We approved it. And then folks threatened to appeal, and in order to avoid an appeal, and, and also acknowledging the fact that the OP wasn't consistent with nine meters that we approved in our new zoning bylaw, we changed it as an interim measure to 7.5 until we could do exactly what we're doing tonight, which is to make them consistent with one another. So we have approved this height three years ago when we did our comprehensive zoning bylaw. At least that's my recollection, Mr. Mayor. Uh, three, Mr. Mayor, uh, you are quite uh, correct, Councillor. In terms of that, m my apologies for, for not explicitly saying that, but yes, there was, a, not a, it was before my time, but I believe there was an OMB decision on that, if I'm correct. It got threatened, yeah, so there was the negotiations to the 7.5 meters. Councillor Height. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you to planning. Shana, I, I see here in the amendment to the official plan, it, it talks, this also includes Booth's Harbor, Normandale, Avalon, Fisher's Glen, and Turkey Point and Long Point. Is that correct? Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor, that is correct. Uh, those are all areas uh, that are within our lakeshore kind of secondary area and uh, areas where there's potential to have the resort residential uh, zone applied in those uh, jurisdictions. And what, what would be the building height if you were a residential anywhere else in Norfolk County? Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor. In terms of uh, our urban zones or our hamlet residential, uh, that is currently 11 meters. Uh, if you, if Council recalls, uh, earlier this year we did have a zoning bylaw cleanup, which increased uh, the height for our urban residential single detached dwellings and uh, our hamlet residential zone. It was previously the 9.2 meters, and our zoning cleanup uh, earlier this year, I believe in February, increased that back to 11 meters. So if you're building a house in, in a hamlet or in an urban area, it would be 11 meters height permitted. Okay, and so basically this is still lower than what it is everywhere else in county, and apparently with that chart as well, I only saw Essex was lower than what we're going with here, so it's still what you feel is a reasonable compromise between three-story monsters and some cuter cottages, per se? Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, uh, we believed when we looked at it, the in discussions with our building staff as well as um, uh, some local architects and that sort of thing. In, in terms of the, the 9.1 meters, which is equivalent to 30 feet, it does allow for a reasonable two-story uh, design within that framework um, with uh, appropriate roof pitches and, and that sort of thing. Okay, and then uh, one last one, Mr. Mayor. I, I noticed that you're, you're, you're picking your grade from the front door elevation. So uh, on the Conservation Authority, we've raised the bottom up now where you have to be at 176.5. So if your cottage is up here, but you're going to measure it from the floor, are you still going to, like, when, 
the building officials, did you, when you spoke with them, you addressed that so that this building will actually fit? Because that was one of the big concerns with 7.5 meters. The bottom was up so high, you couldn't, you would have all flat roof cottages. Uh, three, Mr. Mayor. In, in terms of the height, it is measured as the on the averaged um, finished grade. Uh, so it, it's taken kind of across uh, the average across the, the frontage of the property. Um, so that it is, has been kind of taken into consideration uh, based on the overall height allowances. And that included the GSE, the bottom, the flooding elevation. Through you, Mr. Mayor, in, in terms of, of the, the, the height definition, the height isn't, isn't changed, um, and what, excuse me, the height definition isn't changing, um, so it's the average of it, and so it's, because it, it's based on um, kind of the resort residential areas as a whole, uh, it doesn't necessarily take into that, that ground floor area or that ground floor level through the conservation authority. That's still something that they would have to look at. Um, but it does allow a lot more flexibility in terms of the construction opportunities. Okay, thank you. Councillor Brunton. Well, I'm confused. I didn't get the clarity on what Councillor Heights asking. Like I, we have got an, an, a lot of the lake, lakefront areas we have this correct me if I'm wrong 1.76 meters to the flood elevation and that in itself well it's almost two meters we'll say so you don't take that into account or you do like if the main floor is at 1.76 above ground for flood elevation is it 30 feet up from there or 9.1 or 9.2 meters or are you going right from the ground? Because then uh, the building becomes uh, someplace around 27 or 28 feet. Um, through you, Mr. Mayor. In terms of, of the, the definition, it is based on, on our zoning bylaw for the height. So it's taken on the average of the finished grade. So depending on what the work is between the conservation authority and the designer in terms of the lot grading for the property, that would be taken into account, but it doesn't doesn't specifically take into account the flooding elevations. No. You think it should? Through you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, in my professional opinion, no. Um, that's something that is. Um, it, it can fluctuate depending on the properties that are involved, um, and would be very difficult. I think from a uh, an application perspective. I'm just thinking like we've. We've wrestled with the flood elevations now for a couple of years, I guess, in trying to determine what's appropriate for for setting a uh, well, use the floor uh, main floor elevation. At, yeah, and uh, I would have thought that might have been included in the elevation. I see it as a bit of a problem because it does restrict it restricts the actual construction height for for floors. I would think. But that's only my opinion. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Shannon, a question I have, and I apologize because often when we deal with these two years ago in 2015, I, I forget. We just deal so much sometimes I don't, don't always remember these things. Some of it comes back. I had an extensive conversation this afternoon with a resident at Long Point who went through an OMB specifically regarding lot coverage where the channel has 15 foot lot coverage for the cottage and 10 percent for the boathouse thus 25 i believe at one time it was 30 but i think it ended up at 25 and the resident claimed that this height of uh 7.5 was a negotiated height as part of those negotiations with the omb and then is wondering now why we are changing them so I, I, I think the question is, you may want to comment on that, I don't know, but the, the, the question is, I recognize this is an amendment to our official zoning bylaw and of course our, our, um, our zoning bylaw and our official plan. I recognize that. Is there anything in doing this that would contradict or is there anything in our official plan at the moment that contradicts what we're 
proposing here at the 9.1? Yes, 9.1, 7.5 to 9.1. Do you wish to comment on that? Because I, I couldn't give the resident a straight answer. It was something that I hadn't really thought about. Um, through you, Mr. Mayor, in terms of the negotiations for, with a previous uh, OMB, I, I can't speak to that. I wasn't involved in it. Um, but what I can say is, in terms of the compliance with the official plan uh, for the increase, we, that is what the official plan amendment um, as part of this is, is addressing. So it's removing the height from the official plan, uh, which states uh, uh, shall not exceed the 7.5 meters. So by amended amending the text of the policy document through this uh, through this amendment it's taking out that number within the official plan um, and just relying on the evaluation of height to be uh, continue with the character and, and to watch the massing in terms of the lot coverage that is not being affected or changed no. through this no, it's no. strictly the height that we're addressing um, as uh, as kind of directed by council um, to kind of help alleviate with some of the, the number of applications and, uh, I guess, uh, residency comments uh, that have been received. And uh, just uh, finally, the um, resort uh, residential or seasonal, whatever you want to call it, um, Long Point currently, up to this moment, currently is the lowest height at 7.3 meters of all. Is that a fair statement? Previously, um, when the, uh, the um, former township of Norfolk uh, zoning bylaw was in effect, that would be the case. However, as it stands right now, all of our areas are 7.5 7 meters. Okay, so they're all 7.5. This would put it to 9. That's correct. One. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, there may be more later from Council. Council Wells, did you have a washroom break? Oh, okay, thank you. Um, is there anyone in attendance who wishes to speak in support of this application? Anyone in attendance who wishes to speak in support of this application? Mr. Rogers? John Rogers. Uh, good to see you. Mayor Luton, Council, staff. My name is John Rogers. Uh, I'll give you a little history of Turkey Point and uh, give you my decision. Uh, building codes have changed over 50 to 60 years, as we all know. These changes affect the sustainability of properties along our coastal waterways. In the shoreline communities of Long Point, Turkey Point, Fishers Glen, Avalon, Normandale, and Port Ryersey, real estate properties have experienced an increase along with increased building material practices. Gone are the cedar posts that hold up floor joists. Gone are the two by two, two by three walls. Gone are the newsprints between the wall studs for installation. Gone is the stick framing for roof rafters. Today's building strengths come from a large floating cement, steel and forest footings, foundations and floorings. Two by six wall studs, Ceilings with up to 50 R50 insulation and prefab engineered roof trusses. With the majority, and I'm speaking for Turkey Point, with the majority of the of lot frontages in Turkey Point, 40 foot is a range. And the present bylaw only, and with the pre present bylaw, only fortunate property owners that acquire adjacent lots can increase their building lot coverage. Property owners are unable to design architecturally pleasing buildings with different roof lines, pitches, under this present bylaw. Vertical planning is today's standard and is highly anticipated for the community. Today I drove and counted three new foundations recently constructed in Turkey Point. This number does not represent a building boom, even if they are all two-story projects. The majority of the two-story dwellings are being occupied with two or three generations, probably for numerous reasons, price and taxes. Being landlocked with no more land available limits our population and occupancy. Turkey Point in the Norfolk 
County official plan has provided and will continue to enhance future growth. It has its own principal issues and concerns that is challenging and ongoing, but it remains a healthy and successful community with a strong base, strong tax base, and a great place to play and live. From May to September, Turkey Point provides access to the lake. Thousands and thousands inundate us on hot sunny days. The population on a hot holiday weekend swell to tens of thousands and help our seasonal businesses. Norfolk County's Economic and Tourism Department has recognized that there is a need for more visitor lodgings, whether it be short term, daily or weekly, during these spring, summer and fall days and should be acted on. Well-designed, well-planned communities attract people and investment. The past is rapidly changing to meet the needs of the changing generations to our community. <clears throat> As for this permitted height restriction on two-story dwellings, it is not conducive for the enjoyment of the upper living floor space. And uh, is there some uh, uh, complications with the levels and uh, finish uh, grade and uh, as we've heard before. I cannot say whether things will get better if we change. What I can say, they must change if they are to get better. I do support the proposed amendment to the Norfolk County official plan and zoning bylaw to increase the height from 7.9 meters to 9.1 or 2, as directed by this council, and realize that the 9.1 meter height is a good standard provides common ground for building a two-story. But what we respect to council and staff, I would like to request that a special provision be made with respect to Turkey Point and that the height be returned to 11 meters. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? For Mr. Rogers, Mr. Wells. Thank you very much, Mr. Merritt. Did I understand you correctly? You want to change from nine? Point five to 11 meters? Yes. And what would be your rationale for that? It was that way and was changed from 11 to 7.5 and we've run into all kinds of problems. And the rationale is from the, the, the um, basically from the argument that to create something aesthetically with different roof lines of pitches with a two, full two story, that would have, you know, sort of help uh, with that, with that increased height. And as a matter of fact, there are buildings in Turkey Point that are at that level. Thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Rogers? Councillor Oliver? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, John, for your comments. I fully understand where you're coming from on this, but, but do you understand the dilemma we had as council, and that certainly staff had, given the fact that under the old multiple bylaws, there was inconsistency? And while Turkey Point was at 11, Long Point was at 7.5. And, and, you know, I think council felt there was, there was the need for consistent standards. And, and just as we had some opposition from folks in Turkey Point to bring it down, we probably would have had a lot of opposition from folks in Long Point to take it up to a, to a compromised level. So mm -hmm. I, I, I understand why you're making this request. Uh, but I'm, I'm asking if you, if you can appreciate the dilemma we had in trying to come up with something consistent, i.e., mm -hmm. something that was going to be the same across all resort communities. Right. Well, <clears throat> I sympathize with you trying to be concise and consistent with one height. I feel that Long Point's different than Turkey Point, and special provisions might cure that. Um, we, things are changing, uh, as, I, as I pointed out. Um, you had a secondary plan that you, you uh, I guess, commissioned. You had a study done. A lot of people in Turkey Point never heard of the study. Was, were, were, not, uh, were not involved, were, were not asked, were not questioned. They came along, and obviously you see in Turkey Point there's a lot of one dwelling properties but now they're starting to, to increase with the, the two stories. And I think just because of the change, and what I've mentioned before is that the uh, uh, visitors 
generations are using one property. And I don't think that makes that much difference, the two meters from 9 to 11. So that's my argument. Uh, I appreciate the 7.5 to 9.1 at 2, that's fine, but um, I'd just like for maybe down the road, it's, uh, we might cross this path as far as increasing the, the building height to 11. Sir Brunton, question? Uh, through you to uh, Mr. Rogers. John, did you, uh, do you know where they measured the 11 meters from previously? No. You don't? No. Not exactly, no. I'll ask that of staff later. <laughs> Any other questions? Thanks, John. Yep. Is there anyone else in attendance who wishes to speak in support of this amendment? Is there anyone in attendance who wishes to speak in opposition or in general to the amendment? Hearing none, I would note for council that there are some emails that have come in today on this matter, and they certainly are on your desk, Blotter, so if you care to look at those, if you haven't, I want to point that out to you. Is there anything uh, further from this council? Councillor Brunton. Thank you, Mayor Luke. If I may, back to staff. Um, to, uh, Shannon, Pam, whoever. Uh, my question is, uh, when, do you know when you had the 11 meter, where you measured that from? Uh, three, Mr. Chair. In terms of um, the measurement on that, there was a different definition uh, through the former township bylaw at that time. What the wording is, is I, I can't recall. Um, typically, it's uh, they measure it at the, the front of the house as well, um, and it's a matter of whether or not it was to the peak of, uh, of a building or in some circumstances it's measured to the halfway mark between the eaves and the peak. Um, but what that former definition was, I, I don't know off the top of my head. Well, just uh, if I may, um, I, I don't know what's coming down the line with the way uh, cottages are being renovated, but uh, if you do some of the math and you plug in the uh, flood elevation that LPRCA of started to implement, I guess, emphasize. Um, kind of get the impression that this will restrict us to two stories. And I know it's cheaper to go up than it is out when you're building. And I'm just wondering if somebody has a, with a different roof pitch, you know, they can vary uh, depending on your design. Can an applicant apply for a minor variance uh, if it's whatever, one meter, maybe over the nine meters if they, want that specific design on a house that that's their alternative or their other route to take? Three, Mr. Mayor, absolutely. In, in terms of uh, go for is it if somebody wanted a different design or to increase the height above that 9.1 meters, uh, a minor variance application um, would be uh, still a, an option that would be available. Uh, what the thought was uh, is in terms of the, the overalls that, that we're at right now is that we've seen a lot of applications that have ranged in approximately um, the 8.4 to 10 meters or so. Most of the applications that we've seen for minor variances have ranged in around um, from uh, about eight and a half meters to, to nine meters. Um, so when we're looking at, at the numbers, we tried to take into consideration that when looking at that 9.1 meters, but a variance application is still an option uh, in terms of if somebody wanted to go above and beyond that value. Thank you. Other questions to staff? Councillor Height. I guess that's the one that's still troubling me, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I think how it works, I guess at the Conservation Authority, they're not going to approve any new house that's at unless the top of the foundation is at 176.5 meters GSC. So if you're going to measure from the ground and your house is, your top of your foundation is here, it's just 
kind of an annoyance feature, I guess, from a designer aspect because they'll go, say, this is my house, we're going to build it on the ground, go to the conservation authority, and they're going to say, yeah, pick that up about a meter and a half. And then there's the height issue, and it, you know, it's not the perfect world, but I do appreciate that staff has brought this forward. There's been 14 minor variances in the last two years. For me, we're looking to fix that and add some efficiency into our thing, Mr. Mayor, and we're, we're getting some balance too. We're not going for the monster three stories, and we're not limiting people to the unsafe one stories, as I'd like to say it. So, thank you. anything further? I've been looking for a motion to close the public meeting. Oliver, seconder. Height. Those in favor? Now have closed the public meeting. Council, turn it over to you. Councillor Columbus. Mr. Mayor, I'd move the recommendation as printed in the report. Recommendation for approval to move it the height from 7.5 to 9.1. Second it. Thank you, Councillor Oliver. Columbus has moved. Oliver has seconded that the proposed amendments to the Norfolk County official plan and the Norfolk County Zoning Bylaw 1Z2014 to increase the maximum permitted height from 7.5 meters to 9. Point one meters be approved for reasons as set out in this report 17-82 and that the public input was, sorry, has been received for this application and taken into consideration as part of the recommendation. Any discussion on the motion? Councillor Black and then Oliver. Mayor Luke, thank you very much and I won't be supporting the motion. Um, Probably the only one, but uh, maybe I'm a throwback. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm going backwards and not forwards. But I look at the, some of the, the letters, the emails, and there are a bunch of people that would prefer to live in a, an area that does look like a cottage area, a seasonal area. And uh, it isn't anymore. It, it's not seasonal, even though it's, it's zoned. Resort residential people are living there year round. Um, they have been upgraded, they are insulated, and they've grown. And they're not cottages per se anymore. And that has taken away from the character. So there are people out there who would prefer to have that type of character than the new type and the upgraded type. And th that's just the, the aesthetics. But more than anything, I'm concerned about safety of these areas that are in floodplains, flood prone, like Long Point, like Turkey Point. And then it becomes a safety issue because now you're, you're overdeveloping, in my opinion, uh, because when you go up, you're, you're looking at having more people able to occupy those, those properties. So you're bringing more people in. Now you're using more water, now you're using more septics, and that can be a problem in Turkey Point and Long Point. So I, I think that uh, the sustainability is at risk for these two areas and the safety of individuals. And I know people will say, well, you know, storm once in a while, big deal. But uh, still, I, I think that uh, 7 point, um, five meters was adequate. Councillor Oliver. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I, I just want to, before we deal with the motion and move on, I do want to accept, or I should say acknowledge staff and thank staff for, for bringing this forward when they have. This has been going on for three years, and uh, it's good, I think, to finally get it resolved, hopefully. Anything else? Sorry, I can't uh, go to the uh, public now. Sorry. Um, it's probably good, but I can't go to you. Uh, anyone else on the motion for approval? Those in favor? Those opposed? That's carried. I'd like to recess for a short 10 minutes. Thank you.
Okay. I'd like to uh, reconvene the meeting. I have a quorum. I'd like to get started again, ladies and gentlemen, please. Never use it. I am on page 35 of our agenda. I'm going to jump around a little bit uh, for the agenda and get uh, some of the priority items out of the way. These are the council and committee minutes of last week. They're before us for approval. It's been moved by Councillor Wells, seconded by Councillor Oliver, that the council and committee minutes of October 17, 2017, be approved as presented. Are there any questions on those minutes from our CIC meeting last Tuesday? Hearing none, those in favor? That's carried, thank you very much. <laughs> they didn't forget. They didn't forget, they held their applause. Oh, sorry it took so long. I'm now going to the in-camera session. We have to get that uh, uh, get to that tonight. It's been moved by Councillor Wells, seconded by Councillor Geisens. That council move into closed session at 8.03 p.m. to discuss matters pursuant to Section 239B, D, and C of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended as the subject matter pertains to personnel matters respecting identifiable individuals, including employees of the municipalities, uh, sorry, of the municipality or local board and labor relations or employee negotiations or proposed or pending acquisition or disposition of land by the municipality or local board. To move in closed session, those in favor? We will now move to closed session. Thank you. 